A live look now at the eternal flame in Arlington National Cemetery as the nation pauses to remember the president that flame burns for. Today marks 50 years since President John F. Kennedy was shot and killed while riding in a convertible during a visit to Dallas, a moment that forever changed our nation's history. In Cleveland, people gathered for a mass of remembrance at St. John Cathedral honoring President Kennedy on the 50th anniversary of his death. More than a decade after the assassination of the president and the release of the Warren Commission report, a Cleveland congressman led a reinvestigation. Yeah, the committee headed up by then Congressman Louis Stokes released a finding much different from the earlier one. Leon Bibb has the story, all new at six. The Congressional Committee, chaired by Stokes, was 1976, 13 years after the assassination. Because there were so many assassination theories, Louis Stokes had authority to study the assassination and take his questioning as far as he could. The shots shattered the welcoming atmosphere, stopping the life of President John F. Kennedy. From the beginning sprang theories of conspiracy, more than one gunman. A 1963 commission investigated determining the president was killed by Lee Harvey Oswald alone. Still, conspiracy talk intensified. All of the allegations, all the myths, all of the rumors around who had killed President Kennedy. So fierce was the talk, 15 years after the assassination, Cleveland area Congressman Louis Stokes led another investigation into the assassination, where earlier it was determined three shots, one gunman, the mid-70s House Committee found a dicta belt recording from a motorcade policeman's open microphone. Four shots on that dicta belt, which indicated that it was a shot from another spot on the same scene. Speculations look toward gunmen inside the government to organize crime to Cuba's Fidel Castro. Conspiracy talk was further fueled by assassination witnesses telling the Stokes Committee there had been another gunman in Dallas shooting. From the grassy knoll, our conclusion was that there were two shooters, Lee Harvey Oswald and another shooter. In the Stokes Committee's official investigation, Congressman Stokes went to Cuba to interview Cuban leader Fidel Castro. Castro denied any involvement in the killing of the president, John F. Kennedy. Stokes quotes Castro as saying, if I had killed your president, your country would have blown my little country off the map. Congressman Stokes believes Castro was not involved. Someone else was, he believes, who he does not know. And still, Theories abound about who and how many killed the president. At 5 o'clock, you saw my report on the JFK Secret Service agent living in Cleveland who said there was only one gunman. Former Congressman Louis Stokes contends there were two. Throughout the nation, there are varying opinions. What we know for certain is this. The assassination changed America in many ways that day, 50 years ago. Leon Bibb, News Channel 5.